and welcome in again to getting help from Uncle Sam. And you know, we have people that are just always want to do the right thing, and we're very proud to have one of those people with us today, and that is Commissioner Doug Singleton. And Doug is the commissioner for the county commission. You're the chair. Chair. And and I think that our audience, if we live here, we care about the county. And I think that I have watched you and, and I have been involved in a few of the things that you've done that have touched my heart. And I know that you want to do everything you can to make Montgomery County the best it can be. But I'd like for you to share with our audience some of the things that are just really important to you at, that you're working on. You know, Jim, one of the things that you mentioned with me being the chairman is that uh, we have such a great uh, team of you do. commissioners. Uh, we have Republicans, we have Democrats, we have white, black, male, female, right. Alabama, Auburn, Methodist, Baptist. <laughs> we got a right. wide range, but we all work together to do what's best for Montgomery County. And that's the entire Montgomery County. We don't always get our way. Uh, we don't always uh, agree, but we always have a lot of respect for each other. And we don't vote along uh, political lines. We don't Good. vote along racial lines. We vote along what we feel is best for the entire Montgomery County. So very proud of that. Uh, some of the great things that we are doing in Montgomery County, uh, you know, I talked earlier with Jack about Whitewater, but uh, we've got uh, some great things that we're working on through our ARPA money. Uh, we were able to help uh, put $5 million into the mental health, which is critical to me. Mental health is the number one it's to issue in the state of Alabama. Major. It is. And, we're also able to provide uh, money for the sheriff and the police officers to have new body cams. Great. And these body cams not only uh, uh, enhance the uh, cameras for when they have an interaction with any type of uh, suspect, but if they have an interaction with a mental health situation, they're able to communicate immediately and directly with somebody back at the mental health center so they can walk them through how to handle that person. You know, hey, say this, show your hands this way, back up this way, whatever it is. So that's some of the money for ARPA. We've got some other things we're gonna do with water and sewer. Uh, we're gonna do some stuff with small business to try to help there. We've got just a, a, a number of things that we're working with the city hand in hand to do. One thing that uh, is uh, very critical to me is ambulance service in the unincorporated areas. True. Unfortunately, our ambulance services now are struggling to get employees, and it's hard on them, just like everybody else, right. to hire because nobody really wants to go into that paramedic field. Uh, and we need first responders, and I'm very, very supportive of all our first responders. So we're looking at some options, working with the Pike Road Volunteer Fire Department and also working with Haynes and other ambulance services to provide services out in the county. You know, very proud of our sheriff's department. Oh, yeah. they don't come any better than that. I know, and uh, it's a, uh, I laugh all the time. I get a quarterly report, and it looks like Mayberry, North Carolina, <laughs> with Andy Griffin being the sheriff. But Derek Cunningham has done right. a, a fabulous job, and uh, very proactive. Um, we have a, um, a very highly trained staff, and they do a, a wonderful job. Um, our probate office, you know, Judge Love has done a wonderful job super, too. I mean, super. he's in a position mm -hmm. along with revenue that, uh, you know, nobody's thrilled about going and, and paying taxes. Nobody's thrilled about going and paying for <laughs> tags and titles. I just did mine the other day and I had like $1,500 worth of tags for cars. Oh, I mean, oh. how do I get so many cars? I don't even <laughs> use one of them. But, uh, uh, but they do a wonderful job at all of our 900 employees at the county. Uh, really do a wonderful job. We are, uh, we have uh, spent $41.7 million since 2017 repaving roads. Uh, we have over 600 miles of roads that we maintain the engineering that department. That is a lot of roads. We have 208 bridges. Ooh. And we're going to spend, again, um, we're going to pave about 20 miles of roads again this year and 20 miles again next year. And we just came out with a new, uh, it's on our website now, it's a interaction with, it'll show you the, if you click on the link, it'll show you all the roads that we are planning to pave. And we just, we have a system where we grade our roads so we don't just okay. say, okay, we're going to pave Park Road this year right. and 
Hobby Road next year. It is a system that we have that we grade the roads so you can kind of see where your roads are in okay. the pipeline. That's excellent because I know people ask about that. I applaud you for, for talking about mental health because the, 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 actually the correlation between crime, which everybody has everywhere, we don't have a, a corner on that market, but a lot of that is due to mental health. And we, we, I work with the UAB Medical School here, mm -hmm. and uh, we are trying so hard to get a psychiatric residency because we don't have psychiatrists, the MDs. And so it's wonderful to have partners who look at that and understand that. Yeah, it's critical because uh, right now probably about 30 to 40 percent of the inmates in our county jail shouldn't be in our county jail. Uh, they should be in some type of mental getting help. And, right. But, you know, now law enforcement picks up somebody and they've got mental health issues before, you know, they either took them to jail or to the emergency right. room. Right, And it ties up the emergency room because the officer has to stay with them. That's right. And, the, and, and they have to have nursing people there too. So you're tying up a bed, you're tying up your people at the emergency room, and it's somebody else is not getting that attention. So it's a, it's a domino. Yeah. But I would like to get in one last thing that I love that you've done, and that is mentoring our youth. Yeah, that's our future. That's critical, and, and, and we've got to do more of that. I mean, uh, we've had 59 murders, I think, in Montgomery year to date, um, and many of them involve children killing children. I know. And they need somebody in their life. They need a real man in their life. And that's what they're missing. So that is very, very critical. So let me encourage you. Mentors of Montgomery is a great program. It is. Uh, get with Charles Lee. That's my child. He's done a great job with that. And we need more men to step up. Folks, when you want to know something you can do, get with that. Yep. Get with that. And listen, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done because I love having a leader who wants to do the right thing and really cares. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And you stay with us and we'll be right back.